Welcome to another video of Great Learning. In this video, we are going to talk about what Amazon AWS is, why would you need it, the history of AWS, and the pros and cons of using AWS. If you like this content, please like, share, and subscribe to this channel to receive regular updates. So what is Amazon AWS and why is it so popular? Amazon Web Services is the most comprehensive and the most broadly adopted cloud platform offering 165 fully managed services from the data centers across the globe. Millions of users across the globe, including startups, large enterprises, and government agencies, trust AWS to power their infrastructure at a lower cost. It provides a mix of infrastructure as a service, platform as a service, and packaged software as a service as an offering. AWS gained momentum being the first in its segment, and last year, it backed almost half the market share in its pocket. Why do we need AWS? Let's understand this with the help of an example. In 2008, Netflix was running relational databases in its own data centers when a mishap happened. A data center failure shut the entire service down and the Netflix was shut down for three days. The company's owners faced a choice, turn Netflix into a world-class data center operations company or move to the public cloud. A migration to cloud was a clear choice. They soon became a regular customer of Amazon Web Services for its scale and the broad set of features that it offers. Similarly, a lot of companies want to focus on their core business instead of spending time on maintaining servers and infrastructure. Hence, AWS, Google Cloud, Microsoft Azure became the go-to places for the companies which needed server space for their applications without having to spend their time in maintaining it. Amazon Web Services was launched in July 2002. It was relaunched on March 14, 2006, offering simple storage service, elastic compute cloud, and simple queue service following soon after. These developer-friendly services attracted cloud-ready customers and set the table for formalized partnerships with data-hungry customers like Dropbox, Netflix, and Reddit, all before 2010. Slowly and steadily, more companies poured in, and everyone wanted to get their hands on less costly storage space without having to maintain the servers. Now let us look at the pros and cons of using AWS. AWS allows the organizations to use their already familiar programming models, operating system, databases, and architectures. It is a cost-effective service, which allows you to pay for what you use without any upfront or long-term commitments. It also offers fast deployment, saving a lot of time. You can easily add and remove capacity. Offers centralized billing and management. Offers hybrid capabilities and allows you to deploy your applications in multiple regions around the world with just a few clicks. Now, what are the cons of using AWS? Now, if you need an immediate and intensive support, you need to get a paid support package. AWS sets default limits to its resources, which differs from region to region. Hardware level changes might happen to your application, which may not offer optimum performance of the application. With so many services and advantages, Amazon AWS is popular in 190 countries worldwide. The company has over a million active customers, which includes education institutions, government agencies, and non-profit organizations. AWS data services has increased by a staggering 96% in just a single year. So this was about the AWS basics. AWS has many built-in services in the domain of analytics, management services, application services, developer tools, and business productivity. We will explore all these services and more in detail in the upcoming videos. That's it for this video. Keep following us for regular updates on cloud computing. Thank mm -hmm. you.